Okay, now we're going to move over to the first officer's uh, upper and lower DUs as well as the auto flight uh, switches and enunciators. So let's open up that controller board. We'll go to output. Now I know that my uh, indicators run from 35 to 38 and then 41 to 45. But if you don't know what your numbers are, you're going to have to go check them. I'll just put this all on, make sure I have the right board, which I do. And if I bring up 35, 36, 37, 38, and then 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45, that brings up the indicator. And you'll see if I take these out, they're red. And then if I take those out, they're yellow. So that's set up just the way it should be. So those indicator lights are all correct. We know the numbering sequence, so we're going to go add those to the profile. Now since I know my numbers, I'm just going to drop down to where they are. Let me make sure this is in order. But you're going to be adding all of these. So we'll start at 35. And 35 is for the cabin altitude. The precondition is going to be blank, modify is going to be blank, the output is going to be for the PMDG737, the output type is LED, my output number is 35, your number may vary. The PMDG data is shown here in green, make sure you type that out exactly the way it's shown including the underscores. My PMDG index is blank. 36 is the takeoff config. Modify is blank, precondition is blank, the output is going to be the PMDG737, the output type is LED. The output number for me is 36. Your number may vary. The PMDG data is shown here in green. Type that out exactly the way you see it, including the underscores. The PMDG index for me is blank. 37 is for the speed brake extended. Modify is blank. Precondition is blank. The output's going to be for the PMDG 737. The output type is LED. The output number for me is 37. Again, your number may vary. PMDG data is shown here in green. Make sure you type that out exactly the way it's shown, including the underscores. The PMDG index is blank. 38 is for the below ground, uh, glide, slope. glide slope. Precondition is blank. Modify is blank. The output is going to be for the PMDG 737. The output type is LED. My number is 38. Your number may vary. The, PM, uh, the PMDG data is shown here in green. Make sure you type that out exactly the way it's shown, including the underscores. And the PMDG index for me is going to be 1 now. Now we'll move up to 41, which is the enunciator for the autopilot. Precondition is going to be blank. Modify is going to be blank. The output is going to be for the PMDG 737. The output type is LED. My output number is 41. Your number may vary. And the PMDG data is shown here in green. Just make sure you type that out the way it's shown, including the underscore. My PMDG uh, index is 0. 42. Precondition is blank. Modify is blank. The output's going to be for the PMDG 737. And my output number is 42. Your number may vary. The PMDG data is shown in green. Make sure you type that out exactly the way it's shown, including the underscores. My PMDG index is going to be blank. 43. Our precondition is blank. Our modifier is blank. The output's going to be for the PMDG 737. The output type is LED. The output number for me is 43. Again, your number may vary. The PMDG data is shown here in green. Just type that out the way you see it, including the underscore. PMDG index is 0. 44. Our precondition is blank, our modifier is blank, our output is going to be for the PMDG 737, the output type is LED. My output is 44, your number may vary. The PMDG data is shown here in green, make sure you type that out exactly the way it's shown, including the underscores. The PMDG data uh, index is going to be uh, 0. And 45, which is the final indicator, is going to be for the FMC. Precondition is going to be blank. Modify is going to be blank. The output is going to be for the PMDG 737. The output type is LED. My output number is 45. Your number may vary. The 
PMDG data is shown in green. Make sure you type that out exactly the way it's shown, including the underscore. And the PMDG index for me is zero. Now that takes care of our enunciators. We're going to save that. And then we're going to come up and work on our uh, switches next. All right, so next we're going to go and we're going to get our uh, switch numbers. I have them all written down already, but we're going to go look them up anyway. We're going to open up the controller board for our MIP. We're going to go to input. And now we're going to push some buttons. That's 32, 31, 30, 28, 29. And that was 62, 63, 64. And we have 57, 58, 59, 60, and 61. So now that we know what our selectors are and we have all our numbering, we're going to go in and we're going to add those to the uh, profile for the main instrument panel. Alright, let's go ahead and set up the uh, switches for the first officer's DU and auto throttle setup. Let's go into profile creator. We're back to input now. Now the first officer's autopilot and auto test 28 through 32. They're the same as the captain's side so we don't have to do that. And that's basically right here. This entire section is the same as the captain's side so this is already done. We don't even have to do that. Alright so we're going to worry about uh, these two dials here and the indicators below as well as the below glide slope here. So the indicators are already done so we're just going to come in and finish up the switches. We're going to start from 57 and go down to 64. Now you're going to add these. I already have them in. I'm just going to have to go edit them for you. Let me get down to 57 and let me bring that back in. Okay, this is for the main DU selector for the first officer side. Now you're going to add all of these. The precondition is going to be blank. The input is going to be for the PMDG737. The input type is switch. The input number for me is 57. The PMDG event is shown here in green. Type that out exactly the way you see it, including the underscores. The data press for me is going to be 4, and the data release is parameter. 58 is for the main DU as well. Precondition is blank. The input's going to be for the PMDG737. The input type is switch. The input number is 58. For me, your number may vary. The, the uh, PMDG event is shown here in green. Just type that out exactly the way you see it, including the underscores. The data press for me is going to be 3. The data release is going to be parameter. 59, again, is for the main DU as well. Precondition is going to be blank. The input's going to be for the PMDG737. The input type is switch. The input number for me is 59. Your number may vary. And the event is shown here in green. Just make sure you type that out exactly the way you see it, including the underscores. The data press for me now is going to be 2, and the data release is going to be uh, parameter. 59, let's go to 60. Precondition is going to be blank. The input's going to be the PMDG737. The, the input type is going to be switched. The input number is going to be 60. The PMDG event is shown here in green. Just type that out the way uh, it's spelt, including the underscores. The data press for me is going to be 1, and the data release is going to be parameter. And 61, which is the last one on the main DU. Precondition is going to be blank. The input's going to be for the PMDG737. The input type is switched. The input number for me is 61. Your number may vary. The PMDG event is shown here in green. Just type that out the way you see it, including the underscores. Data press is going to be zero, and the data release is going to be parameter. And now we're going to move on to the lower DU, which is 62. And the precondition is going to be empty. The input's going to be PMDG737. The input type is switch. The input number for me is 62. Again, your number may vary. PMDG event is shown here in green. Type that out exactly the way you see it. The data press for me is going to be 0. And the data release is going to be parameter. 63 for the lower DU as well. Precondition is going to be blank. The input's going to be for the PMDG737. The input type is switch. 
The input number for me is 63. Your number may vary. The PMDG event is shown here in green. Just type that out exactly the way you see it, including the underscores. The data press now is going to be a 1, and the data release is parameter. 64, which is the last of the lower DU selectors. Precondition is going to be blank. The input's going to be for the PMDG 737. And the input type is switched. The input number for me is 64. Again, your number may vary. The PMDG event is shown here in green. Type that out exactly the way you see it, including the underscores. The data press for me is going to be 2, and the data release is going to be parameter. And we're going to select OK. You're going to save that. And then we're going to run this, and then just make sure that the first offices section actually works. All right, let's go take a look at these switches in operation now. Let me come up here. Let's run that. And let's move these switches here. And up. And down. And let's put the test light on and make sure that they all work. Okay, so that takes care of the first office's DUs and uh, auto throttle. Next, we'll move on to the six pack and get that set up.